Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Myself Parag Zambulkar. In this video, we will see data binding in lightning web components. What do you mean by data binding? So, data binding is the process by which values are bounded to the properties. So, binding values to the properties is called as data binding. Now, how it is done in lightning web components that we will see in this video. Now, see, we will open Visual Studio Code how to set up Visual Studio Code for LWC that already we have seen in previous video and also we have seen how to create our first project, our first LWC project. So that also we have seen in previous video, right? So see, when we create LWC project, so in that project we have this HTML file, we have JavaScript file, right? Now see, in JavaScript file, in this way, we can create properties and we can assign value. So see, F name is a property and Parag that is the value. So basically here we have created one string and that string we have allocated to the f name property. So value here it is string. This value can be any integer or any billion value. Now see l name is another property and here Zambulkar which is string this value we are binding to property l name right. Now see so in this way we have created two properties and two values we have allocated to these properties right. Now see, in HTML file, to access those properties, we have to mention them in curly bracket, right? So see, hello, in curly bracket, we have mentioned f name and in curly bracket, here we have mentioned l name, right? So see, in this case, these values are bounded to this property. Now, we will deploy this component onto the org. So see, on this component, we will right click. Here we have option, deploy source to org. So, our component got successfully deployed. Okay. Now, see. Here we have app launcher. So, see. We will select service app. Now, see. Here we have gear icon. Click on this. Here we have edit page link. Click on this. Now, see. Here lightning app builder page got opened. Right. Now, see scroll down so here you can see we have this custom lightning web component right hello world so we can drag and drop this component onto this service home page right so see we will drag and drop onto the service home page so see so we have drag and drop this lwc onto this service app right now we will click on save we will click on back button so here you can see our component is visible here, right? You can see our component here. Now see, here we got Parag and Zambulkar. This is F name and L name, right? So F name, L name, those were the properties and Parag and Zambulkar, those are the values, right? So see, here in Visual Studio Code, in JavaScript file, we have allocated, we have bounded these values to properties. Now we will see how to bind values to properties in objects. So see, Suppose I am creating one object, so see, something like this. I am creating one object, so see, employee, this is object, is equal to in curly bracket. Here, we will write properties and values. So, now see, we will put these properties and values in our object, so see, we will put here. Now see, here, instead of is equal to, here we have to write colon, and instead of semicolon, here we have to mention comma. Again here, instead of is equal to, we have to write colon and here we have to put comma. Now see, two more properties and values we will add. So see, suppose I am adding age colon 35. So see, previously we have added strings, right? Now I am adding integer value. Now see, one more property value we will add. City colon in single quote we will mention Pune. As it is the last property value, there is no need to mention comma. Now see, here it is showing dot, right? That means this file is not saved. Now I am pressing control yes. So by this, this file is saved. Now see, so we have created this employee object and in this employee object, we have these four properties, right? We have these four properties. So see, instead of semicolon, we require comma, right? So previously it was showing error. See, when I put semicolon there, so see here it is showing error. 
so we have to remove this semicolon and we have to add comma right okay now there is no error i am pressing control yes by this this file is saved now we will see how to access these properties and values from this object in our html file so see previously we have access like this right now see i am removing this so see hello in curly bracket what is our property name f name right now see this f name property belongs to employee object right so see here we have to write employee dot right now see again in curly bracket employee this is our object dot yell name right so by this we will mention hello parag jambulkar right now see one more we will add so see here i am writing is is equal to and here we have to access value right so here we will mention employee dot h one more we will add div city is equal to in curly bracket here we will write employee dot city so see employee dot city so see previously we have not used object right so in that case directly we can use this property but as we have mentioned these properties inside object so we have to use this object name and by that we can call these properties right so see here it is showing dot right that means it is not saved now i am pressing control yes so by this this file is saved okay now we'll upload this so see deploy source to org okay so our component is successfully deployed now see we will refresh this now see it is taking time again we will refresh it so here you can see hello parag jambulkar age 35 city pune right so see now we are accessing properties from the object right so in this way we can write properties in javascript file we can allocate values to these properties and we can access them in html file so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you